Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a car landing effect easy in After Effects. First of all we will need to remove the car from a background. To remove the car, let's first rename our clip to original. Then duplicate it and rename it to clean, then make sure to toggle off original layer. Now select clean layer and scroll to the moment where you want your landing effect to end. In my case I want my car to land right at that moment. So let's trim clean layer till that moment and then make sure to trim work area as well. Why I trimming work area? Because I don't want to remove the car from the whole clip and I just need to remove it till that moment I have chosen. So now let's scroll to the beginning of clean layer and now we will need to mask the car. To mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha, select a pen tool and mask the car like this. Once you are done, enable perspective and then click on tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on save button and close Mocha AE. Expand matte now and click on create AE masks. Press M on your keyboard and make sure to change mask mode to subtract. Now go to content aware fill tab and click on create reference frame. This will open a Photoshop for us. In Photoshop select a remove tool and remove that transparent spot. Once you are satisfied with the image, go to file and click on save and then close Photoshop. Under Content Aware Fill tab, copy my settings and click on Generate Fill Layer, let's wait until it's analyzing and removes the car. Once it's done, make sure to bring back work area to its normal length. And now as you see we have a clean video without a car and we can begin making the landing effect. First make sure to toggle on original layer, then duplicate it and move it above fill layer. Now make sure to scroll to the moment where the fill layer ends and then cut duplicated layer at that moment. Then right click on it, go to time and select, freeze frame. Move that layer to the beginning of fill layer and then make sure to cut the ending as well, so this froze layer and fill layer should be the same length. Let's pre-compose that layer, name it to frozen and make sure move all attributes is selected and then hit OK. Now we have to mask out the car, since this is a still image, I will use a casual pen tool to mask the car, make sure to mask it as smooth as possible. Nice, now we have a clean background and an isolated car layer and that means we can begin making a landing effect, but first of all let's drag and drop jet exhaust fire footage, if you want this, make sure to check this video's description, I will leave a free download link there. Press S on your keyboard and make that fire a bit smaller. Then press R and rotate it until it fits your car perfectly. Position it right under the car something like that. In case if you want more of these fires, simply duplicate that layer and position it properly. I will use three jet fires. Now make sure to correct the rotation, position, and scale on all of the fire layers before we begin animating it, cause after it will be a bit hard to correct. Once you are happy with it, make sure to move frozen layer above jet fire layers, cause we need to make the fire underneath the car and not above. Now scroll to the end of frozen layer and make sure to trim jet exhaust layers. Now select all jet layers and frozen layer and press P on your keyboard. Make sure you are at the end of frozen layer and then click on position stopwatch icon to create keyframes on all of these layers. Now scroll to the beginning of frozen layer and move these layers up something like this. Select all keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve like mine. Let's quickly check it it looks already cool. Make sure to enable motion blur on these layers and let's check it again. That's way better, a few more steps and we are done. Let's scroll somewhere forward before car lands and select all jet exhaust layers and press T on your keyboard. Click on opacity stopwatch icon and then scroll forward a bit and change opacity to zero on all jet exhaust layers. That looks better, but let's add some shakes now. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. That looks way better with shakes. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.